wanted to make something special with these helicopter parts. Uh, I have added a few of my own parts, as you can see, and uh, I did a little bit of a paint job on the front of this, uh, on the front of the actual cockpit. And this is my uh, werewolf uh, face on the nose of the plane. It doesn't, it's not a very good werewolf, but this is called the werewolf. So um, that's what uh, that that is. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a flight demonstration here. Just to show you how well she behaves herself. So without load, she handles quite well. Um, good flyer. Um, with a load, she's a little bit sluggish, but still behaves fairly well. So the, the ultimate goal here is, uh, you know, uh, achieve the mission and uh, be able to fly out there and be able to fly back. So this is a test of that capability and I thought I'd put it online. Just to show you how cool the helicopter parts are, of course, I have a few little mods on here myself, but the helicopter parts in, in and of themselves are, uh, can, can be really fun if you take the time to actually flush out a cool design, so I suggest you download it. Um, it took me probably uh, 30 loads. <laughs> To get this helicopter to the point where I actually love it and will probably never delete it until I make a better helicopter, which probably won't be for a little while. At least until uh, uh, Snow updates the uh, helicopter parts pack that he has there and gives us a little bit more uh, to play with. Then I might consider to redesigning this uh, into something a little bit better. But until then, this is my favorite. Uh, Probably one of my favorite uh, vehicles right now, one of my favorite craft files. I can fly this thing anywhere, all over the place, and uh, it's... I can land it. I can't say I can land I haven't landed it on the carrier yet, but I've come darn close. Um, and I, I, I feel like I've gained enough experience with it that I could actually land it on a carrier now, so... baby. Let her rip. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> now that was pretty cool. Anyways, to show you, to showcase what this does, uh, we can, we might be able to do that if I don't crash. I might just crash here. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> I almost died on that dive. Oh no! I guess that's uh, it's as good a time as any to uh, crash. We can come and take a look at our port torpedo damage here. See if we did anything. I don't. I don't know. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I notice there's a slight. There's a slight list there. So here we are back at the KSC on the runway. I got this slash fish. Um, Slash Fish is one of my favorite planes that I've made. It's a dual cockpit. It has four underwing pylons for ordnance, and it is very fast and can land on a dime. So I'm just going to show you what I do with this plane and uh, see what happens. This is a rock solid plane, uh, so it can pretty much do anything. Uh, the wings are still not finished. They still have quirks. They still have things that I'm aware of, but uh, they're, they're nowhere near ready for release yet. Um, and I know a lot of you guys, I show these videos, and a lot of you guys are aching to get this stuff, and trust me, I'm, I'm dying to get it out to you too, but I need to uh, develop it and get it uh, to the point where I'm happy with it, and then a few of my uh, a few of my guys there are going to test it out for me and with me and uh, give me some advice and some suggestions to make it even better for you guys. And then once it's ready, it'll be ready and you'll get it. So here we 
go. I dropped from about 600 meters. I'm going to throttle down. I'm going to do a loop. Let's see what we can do. We can see something here. We might be able to get back in range before something good happens. Let's just circle around a little bit. So here we are coming into the KSC for a landing. I'm just going to show you that it's a beautiful plane to land with. Um, again, I'll probably tap the key. You'll see it's glide path, see? So I'm just tapping the keys here on my keyboard. This is not uh, rocket science to land this plane. This plane is a phenomenal plane to land. Of course, if I don't, you know, looking backwards is uh, not always the best option to do, but... <laughs> okay, so here we are with a new plane, and as you can see, I've outloaded the Slash Fish with the four torpedoes. Um, this is about the maximum this thing can handle, and as you can see, I'm fighting a little bit here to keep it under control. Um, it really comes down to lift versus mass, and also your engine power a little bit. Uh, so let's take a good shot let's say uh, 700 and 500 so we have uh, two groups in the water again I don't know what's going to happen here guys so bear with me this is like a test that hits to the center line that looked like a big explosion and hits to the back Good thing I hit the ground because look what we get to see. I think those four torpedoes were the end of that thing. Oh boy, that is bent. That is good. That is extremely damaged. Unfortunately, this time instead of landing at the KSC, we are not landing at the KSC. Now I'm a little bit high. I don't know if I want to drop from this height. I'm going to come down a little bit. do this drop further out uh, than last time just to see what kind of range we can get on these things. I'm going to try for 800. We're at 700, so I'm going to drop all four now. And we will drop them at about 150. So those are in the water. they hit. They did hit. I think they perhaps hit the exact same spot I just nailed though, so I'm not exactly sure if that was going to be, that's going to be a, a good enough hit for us. Uh, we have a couple other big buddies on us uh, to uh, take care of the deck and that thing. So let's see if we can put them to good use and uh, get rid of some uh, miserable from our turf, you know, our turf here. So again, this is a tricky situation because you got to just time this perfectly and uh, this kind of thing without guidance, of course, is always a chore. So bear with me, guys. I hope I hit something. That's good. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't think it liked it. <laughs> See if I can't uh, get it nice and lined up to the back and drop. If we can hit those back at the back end on that thing, look at the buckle on that ship. It's just crazy. I'll try to keep it on an angle where we can actually see something going on here. <laughs> we got that one. that one. That one hit hard. I thought I'd get a capture of this. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Oh no, my bomb. Oh no. Where's my torpedoes? There they go. 
Oh no, it did that! Oh, one made it! Oh, oh yes! <laughs> so let's just drop those and see what we get. Pretty level when we drop that one. Let's just see what we can do. Um, it may or may not hit. I honestly don't. I'm getting pretty good at this though. Oh god, it's gonna miss. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> Those go off with quite the bang. I don't know if I'd want to be right down there <laughs> when it goes off. Is holding that thing up. I, I'm starting to wonder what the hell is holding that thing together. Put an end to this right now. So there it goes two. So I'll circle around. Come on, girls. Don't let me down, girls. section has survived and uh, it in, in itself might be actually partially sinking um, again only one way to find out yes it's heavily listed you can see it she's down on the right hand side was a low pass. Thanks a lot guys, have a good evening, and uh, you can watch my my landing here uh, to the sounds of some music, perhaps some music, maybe I'll inject a little bit of music. 
music at the end here. Now I could get crazy at this point and start flying upside down and stuff, but I think after a mission well done, um, we need, and, and a few, after a few Kerbals have died on the missions, we need to make this a uh, flawless landing, and uh, that's what we're going to do. So here we come, in for the flawless landing, at, back at the KSC. Enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more.